pulled back. He has, I want to always control his wrist so that he can't lift it up. I want to keep it down here towards the tip so a ref won't stop it and dig me for uh, potentially dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with painting from right here, but that's the number one thing that happens is ref stop it for potentially dangerous things. Not acceptable. I own this wrist. He doesn't own this wrist. I want control over it. By doing that, whichever side I'm on, I take my off the, 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 that arm and I block that wrist from being able to come up and I chop over the top of it. Okay. This means I'm attacking this side. If I do this, I'm attacking, I'm going to lay it down flat with him and attack this side, whether it's a half Nelson or whether it's a suck back into a tilt. Now, if I'm going to attack that, I'm going to attack across him with this arm. I'm still going to be in this position, but I'm going to control the wrist like this right here. And I'm going to cross face and come in here. The first one I want to teach you guys is how to cross face and come into. This right here has been my number one bidding move since I was a freshman in high school.